Hi everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I will discuss objective type questions and answers from RCC Structure Design. This video will help you in competitive exams, interviews as well as in semester exams. So this is my first Q&A video and I will bring more objective also subjective type questions with answers in all civil engineering subjects. So to stay updated with all my videos, please subscribe the channel and click the bell icon. Also don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. So let's get started. So our first question, according to IS 456 specifications, the safe diagonal tensile stress for M150 grade concrete is, I have four options. So option A, 5 kg for centimeter square. Option B, 10 kg for centimeter square. C, 15 kg for centimeter square. And option D, 20 kg for centimeter square. So the answer is 5 kg for centimeter square. So, safe diagonal tensile stress for M150 grade concrete according to IS456 specification is 5 kg for centimeter square. Next question, spacing of stirrups in a rectangular beam is option A, kept constant throughout the length, option B, decreased towards the center of the beam, option C, increased at the ends and option D, increased at the center of the beam. So spacing of stirrups in a rectangular beam is increased at the center of the beam, option D, increased at the center of the beam. Spacing of stirrups in a rectangular beam is increased at the center of the beam. Next question, in a singly reinforced beam, the effective depth is measured from its compression edge to option A, tensile edge, option B, tensile reinforcement, option C, neutral axis of the beam, option D, longitudinal central axis. So, in a singly reinforced beam, the effective depth is measured from its compression edge to tensile reinforcement. Compression edge to tensile reinforcement. Option B. Next question. If the permissible compressive and tensile stresses in a singly reinforced beam are 50 kg for centimeter square and 1400 kg for centimeter square, respectively and the modular ratio is 18, the percentage area at of the steel required for an economic section is option A 0.496 percentage, option B 0.596 percentage, Option C 0.696 percentage and option D 0.796 percentage. So the steel required for economic section is option C 0.696 percentage. So how to calculate this I will uh, discuss in my next video. Elaborately I will discuss how to calculate this, this calculation. So here the answer is 0.696 percentage. Next question. In a singly reinforced beam, if the permissible stress in concrete reaches earlier than that in steel, the beam section is called Option A, under reinforced section, on option B, 
ओवर एनफोर्स सेक्शन ऑप्शन सी इकोनॉमिक सेक्शन एंड ऑप्शन डी क्रिटिकल सेक्शन सो हियर द आंसर इज द बीम सेक्शन इज कॉल्ड ओवर एनफोर्स सेक्शन A singly reinforced beam, if the permissible stress in concrete reaches earlier than that in steel, the beam section is called over reinforced section. You should remember this. These are frequently asked in interviews. Next question: If the diameter of a reinforcement bar is d, the anchor's value of the hook is option A, 4d; option B, 8d; option C, 12d; and option D. 16d so the answer is option d is 16d if the diameter of reinforcement bar is d the anchor's value of the hook is 16d you should remember this this is 16d next question the radius of bar bend or to form a hook should not be less than option a twice the diameter option b Thrice the diameter. Option C, four times the diameter, and option D, five times the diameter. So the radius of bar bend to form a hook should not be less than twice the diameter. Option A, it should not be less than twice the diameter. The next question: the length of the straight portion of a bar beyond the end of the hook. Should be at least option A twice the diameter, option B thrice the diameter, option C five times the diameter, and option D seven times the diameter. So here the answer is seven times the diameter. It should be at least straight portion of a bar beyond the end of the hook should be at least Seven times the diameter. So next question is: A singly reinforced concrete beam of twenty-five centimeter width and seventy centimeter effective depth is provided with eighteen point seven five centimeter square steel. If the modular ratio M is fifteen, the depth Depth of the neutral axis is option A. We have to calculate this twenty centimeter. Option B, twenty five centimeter. Option C, thirty centimeter. And option D, thirty five centimeter. So I will calculate this in my next video. And the answer is thirty centimeter. How to calculate? I will show you in my next video. So this is the depth of neutral axis is thirty centimeter. How to calculate this? I will show you in my next video with details. With detailed calculation, I will show in my next video. So the next question: the diameter of longitudinal bar of a column should never be less than option A, six millimeter; option B, eight millimeter; option C, ten millimeter. Option D, twelve millimeter. So here the answer is option D, twelve millimeter. The diameter of longitudinal bars of a column should never be less than twelve millimeter. So these are the questions. So you should remember this and this question. How to calculate the depth of neutral axis? i will detail i will show in details in my next video this question number 9 i will solve this and this question question number 4 how to calculate the steel required these two questions i will discuss in my next video with detailed how to calculate this and uh, i hope it will help you as these are frequently asked questions on interviews and i will bring many more all subjects or uh, many more questions in all subjects so stay updated with all